Is the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. Because you have the Afghan troops have 300,000 well-equipped, as well-equipped as any army in the world, and an Air Force, against something like 75,000 Taliban. It is not inevitable. Mr. President, thank you very much. Your own intelligence community has assessed that the Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. Is it, can you please clarify what they have told you about whether that will happen or not? That is not true. They, so, did, not, they didn't, did not reach that conclusion. So what is the level of confidence that they have that it will not collapse? The Afghan government and leadership has to come together. They clearly have the capacity to sustain the government in place. And do you see any parallels between this withdrawal and what happened in Vietnam with some people feeling? With None the whatsoever. Zero. What you had is you had entire brigades breaking through the gates of our embassy. Six, if I'm not mistaken. The Taliban is not the, South, the North Vietnamese Army. They're not, they're not remotely comparable in terms of capability. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. It is not at all comparable. So the question now is, where do they go from here? That, the jury is still out. But the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely.